Hey guys, my name is SickabeoT1 and welcome back to Earthbound. I uh, It's been a while since I've recorded this because I've been working so much um, retail and just couldn't find the time and now I have some time so here we go. I... <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I remember in the last episode we took care of the gold mine where we took care of the, the, the moles that all claimed that they were the third strongest. That was a good time. Now we're headed back to Forestside. Headed back to Forestside because I think story. Okay. <coughs> Nest greetings. I'm George Gerardo Monte's brother. Gerardo is the name, but I haven't found any buried treasure yet. We did, however, find a diamond instead. That's pretty nice. I mean, we'll, we'll take that. You'll 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 entrust children with a diamond. I mean. Ness is stated to be around 13 years old, and the other kids around that, but still. I mean, what do you think we want with a diamond? I don't think- I don't think I really need this butterfly because I just healed. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> is what I thought. But anyway, we can use this diamond, not- well, <laughs> can use this diamond to free the Runaway 5. We did it last time we had a-, a Crap ton of money that was just lying in our inventory. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Here we go. Just you need to remember which venue the Runaway Five are playing in, and then we can free them. Excuse me. Look at this four side. Oh, that's Topala Theater, right? <clears throat> Let us in. Do we still have tickets, or do we still have tickets, or do we have to buy new ones? We probably have to buy new ones, but I guess that's no skin off my back because we have a lot of money, just like in real life. Uh -huh, sure, thirty bucks. Paula, you got the tickets. Let us in. Uh huh. I ain't here to see a show. I'm here to free the performers. <clears throat> Love of the manager's office is just this accessible. Take this diamond and let them go. What, what, what? I can't tell what this is from a distance. Bring closer. Okay. Okay. Um. There we go. <laughs> a little tricky to get around. I'm gonna shove this diamond up your butt! And <laughs> she reacted like she, that was the case, too. Okay, that's fine. I'll rip up this contract. Yeah, don't tell anyone about the diamond. Now the runway five are free. You should thank me. That diamond is worth maybe maybe fifty dollars. So I gave you a bargain. <laughs> I could I could have just given you fifty dollars. <laughs> Sorry about being such trouble. Whatever. Oh, you're talking to us. Okay, okay. I get that. Let's do one last show and get the hell out of here. Woohoo! We get to see another show. Alright, thanks again. <sighs> Money. I think you said that last time we freed you, because I, I recently, as in last night, just edited the episode where we freed the Runaway 5 initially. So you can kind of get an idea for how long in advance I'm recording these, just so I can upload three times a week. It's been doing okay, I guess. You can go in here, right? Yep. We got another show. Welcome to the final Runway 5 performance at the Chapala Theater. <laughs> it's gonna be a great show. We're so good it makes me think the, those kids by the exit with the, will wet their pants. <laughs> those kids are hip, baby. Uh-huh, sure.
I think that was pretty much just identical to one of the other songs they played before, so whatever. If <coughs> let's just let's just get out of here. We freed the runaway five. We're good to go. Next stop, department store, because last time it was closed down. I don't need the butterfly. I haven't even gotten into a fight this episode. Um I need the map, actually. Okay, the department store is way over there. Yeah. <coughs> Designing isometric towns may sound like a good idea initially, but then it's... it's confusing. Okay. So here we are. Do we actually buy anything here? No. Okay. Oh, you can do that here? Okay, whatever. They're probably not... They're probably... Probably less expensive here, but... I never have to go back there, so it doesn't matter to me anymore. Um, let's withdraw... $4,000. See if we can get enough. <clears throat> See if we can get what we need in here. Layout of this is probably just identical to the department store in Onet. What are you selling? Would you like to buy some seasonings? Okay. Okay, up to the top floor. Something I can talk about. Uh, yesterday, my internet got upgraded, so that is awesome. And now I'm able to upload videos at a reasonable pace. Before I had to use this program called Handbrake for them to even really get uploaded properly. Because otherwise, I guess YouTube considered the files too big. I mean, even... <clears throat> I guess that's more so for reviews because those are more heavily edited. And I get that. For Let's Plays, it usually takes less time, but, you know, still. Now with my internet, it's at least four times faster. Which is awesome. And who are you? Shh, don't talk too loud. What do you want? Oh, you're another arms dealer. Okay. Hyperbeam. Yeah, let's let's give that sucker to Jeff. Let's do it. Sure. Yeah. I'm also gonna sell Jeff's laser gun. Forget I don't want to buy that junk. Okay. Brood. Yeah. I'm gonna get a bo big bottle rocket while I'm here. Up a floor. You know, most RPGs would treat each, I mean, each section like I mean, each floor differently. I don't know. I don't know what I'm getting at. Um, no. Um, I'm gonna sell my laser gun to you. I'm sorry, but I can't buy that. Um, really? Um, that. <laughs> That was his weapon before, right? Why, why can't it be purchased? What do you got? You got a chef's frying pan for Paula. Nice. Change from 73 to 83. Yeah, you can buy that. I don't know why you can't buy the laser gun. Um, Golden bracelets. The toothbrush. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, golden bracelet. Buy that for Paula. She'll equip that here. Sell silver bracelets for that. Let's rearrange our inventory so that Jeff can actually get his own golden bracelet. Alright, Jeff can get the gold bracelet now. That's a lot of defense. Buy that. Yes, please. I had to go to the ATM to get some more money, and there's no ATM on this floor. So that was fun. Oh! <sighs> oh, okay, okay. Uh-huh, time for sports. You don't have anything that I... <laughs> I guess that Ness would like it for memorabilia purposes, but in terms of combat, it's not not gonna do me good. Um, Trick Yo-Yo. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Give it to her, and then I will... <clears throat> Just rearrange some stuff. Okay, I had to do... I mean, I, I searched, and I don't think that the trick yo-yo would be a good idea to have. Because I... Yeah. <clears throat> Apparently, it misses a good amount of the time. Like, at least 18%, which is way too high for me. Especially in a game where my chief complaint has been how often things miss. So, I'm gonna... No, keep forgetting that X isn't the menu. It's like A is the menu, 
That's contrary to most RPGs that I've played, but whatever. Usually it is start, or it is X. Also, it said you shouldn't really buy anything for Paula. At least my, uh, my walkthrough said that. Nah. But that's okay. That's okay. Even though my f leg is getting numb. Oh, that's something that's been happening. Like, the past three days, my... I just had some foot pain. Like, the on Monday, my I was breaking in my new shoes. My new topsiders. Oh, I guess I'll leave that to later. Okay, um, Paula got kidnapped. That's why you don't really want to buy anything for her, I guess. Attention, please, with the customer from Winnet. Ness, please proceed to the office on the fourth floor. That was the customer, N yeah. Yeah, it's like, I'm the only one here now. This is getting intense. This is getting spooky. I mean, anyway, um, new topsiders. Um, they were rubbing up against my heels and skinning them or something. I don't know exactly what they were doing, but, um... <clears throat> yeah, now now I got a blister again. I don't know what you're doing. Ah! Ah, holy crap! Am I under leveled? What the hell? How ironic! And I gave the I gave food to Paula. Let me give you that. Uh, um, uh, okay, so I got the blisters, and then the second day, I had, I had an interview over Skype, so I was dressed in a little more formal wear than I would normally wear to work, and as a result, I, I stopped again, yes, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming, why am I stuck, why, oh, because that was the down escalator, um, second day, I wore my black shoes, which are harder on my feet, than the, my topsiders, and so I was in some. I was in a lot of pain that day, and I was also in pain yesterday, even though I was wearing my topsiders. So I also, after work, I soaked my feet in some Epsom salt, or at least water with Epsom salt dissolved in it. That's more accurate. And that is really nice. I don't know if that is a thing that that people commonly do. I don't, but- OH NO! Ugh. I don't know if that's a thing that people commonly do, I don't know if that's what Epsom salt is typically meant for, but that is nice. That is just nice. Musica. Okay. I don't think I've hit you once, so whatever. Ah! I'm scared. Uh Ness is dead. God damn it. Uh okay, that's that's Ness that's inventory. Okay. Good thing Jeff has cup of life noodles. Here you go. How much I'm how much I'm full, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna check our stats. Um Ness is good. Um, Jeff could use a little bit of healing, so I guess I'll just use Life of Alpha, not Beta. And, um... Epsom Assault. Yeah, do that if you feed her sore. That's very nice. I'm almost there! Shut up! <laughs> Yariel, do you really want to hurt me? Ah, ah, you finally made it! The department store is going to be your grave. Uh-huh. You'll go to heaven, that's comforting. That is actually kind of comforting. Here, Jeff, you spy. Offense is A2. Okay, you're done. No sign of a weakness, though. Not that I could actually use it, because... Oh, God! Oh, God. Come on. There we go. <laughs> we saved our skin. Yes, I'm ag Okay, I'm not really scared of that. Although I probably should be. You do that, and you use a big bottle rocket. <sighs> First, use a couple left noodles in the in the game. <clears throat> Isn't that nice? Um, no! You asshole! 
Come on, 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 yes! Oh my god. Ugh. Earthbound, man, it's intense. Oh, what did- what did I do? What did- what did I use? Um... STOP KILLING JEFF! YOU BASTARD! It- uh, JEFF! I'm- I'm overreacting. I don't know why I'm overreacting. <laughs> um... I guess it's just a nest battle now. So... Yeah, we're- we were- <laughs> We were fine! Well, he was only attacking Jeff, and I don't know why. Um... Jeff really could've used that experience, though. <laughs> flash Beta! I haven't even used Flash Alpha. What makes you think I'm gonna use this version? Even though you beat me, Mr. Macha Gygas will avenge me. At this moment, Paula should be in Monotoli. Mon yeah, okay. Uh, okay, so this is a weird part of the game, and I don't... Oh, wait. <laughs> Never mind! Okay, um... I am going to go and... I'm gonna go get Jeff. I should actually end the episode off here. It might be a little short. Uh, but whatever. It, it's at least 15 minutes, I'm guessing, maybe. I think we've made enough progress for a typical episode, so thank you for watching this episode of Earthbound. In the next episode, we are going to chase after Paula. When I start the next episode, Jeff will be alive again, so take care.